What's going on ladies and gents, me the Great Heisman here. In this video, I want to talk to you about the 1974 FIFA World Cup and the 1974 Netherlands squad. Because I don't know about you, but I think that is the greatest squad besides the 1954 Hungary squad to never win a World Cup. Because I don't know about you, but that 1974 Netherlands squad was phenomenal. And they are probably the most talented, I will say I think they're the most talented World Cup team of all time. Because if you just look at that squad... That squad deserved to win that World Cup final. Like, I don't know how they lost that game, but it's crazy because it's like that squad had Johan Cruyff, you had um, uh, Johan Naskins, um, just a bunch of other good players, and you just don't realize just how insane that squad was. Keep in mind, they didn't they go unbeaten in the 1974 World Cup or something? I think that uh, West Germany were the only team to actually beat the Netherlands in the World Cup because, I mean, <clears throat> seriously, it just goes to show that that squad just kicked serious butt. No, they, they drew a Sweden in the World Cup, but that squad, whether you like it or not, they completely just completely tore opposing teams apart in terms of their performance. Like, no joke, <coughs> make no mistake about it, dude. That squad, just, they just played possibly the best amazing football we've ever seen. Like, they 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 beat teams like Argentina 4-0 and they beat Brazil 2-0. So, it just goes to show you that that squad was a complete force in the World Cup. And we'll probably never see a World Cup squad like that ever again. But, wow, it's a crazy thing what that squad could have been. I don't know what happened in the World Cup final, but it looks like that they, um, it's either they, uh, I don't know what happened in the second half, but West Germany beat that team. Because at that time, Germany was divided between East and West. And it's crazy to think that a team like West Germany would have actually beat the Netherlands. A team that was assembled by Rhinus Michels, because trust me, remember, Rhinus Michels was the guy that assembled that entire squad, you know, and <clears throat> he and his tactics were phenomenal in the World Cup. Like, I can't express to you how great that squad was. No joke. But some can say that uh, West Germany got lucky, but from the looks of it, it looked like that West Germany were more prepared in the game just because people don't realize that West Germany hosted the World Cup and West Germany were playing in their own house, so that gave them home field advantage. I do think had the World Cup been played in the Netherlands, could have been different, maybe. But you also, a big reason why West Germany beat that Netherlands team in 1974 was simply because they, um, their back four was great. I can't name a better back four than Bertie Volgitz, uh, Franz Beckenbauer, uh, you had uh, Schwarzenbeck, and you had Paul Breitner. Like, <sighs> wow. You just... Uh, like, that, that back four completely just uh, contained the Netherlands' attack. And I think that made the biggest difference in the World Cup. Plus, they had Sepp Meyer, who was the best goalkeeper in the world at that time, which also played another big factor. But in that game, Netherlands had a 1-0 lead, but then Germany stormed back. And from there, their back four just completely prevented the Netherlands from scoring, and they won the World Cup. But yeah, man, it's crazy to think that because, I mean, Johan Cruyff, this guy, this guy single-handedly, I don't know about you, but I think Johan Cruyff is the greatest uh, football player of all time because he will go down as the most complete football player of all time. Yes, Pele and Maradona were amazing, but the thing about Johan Cruyff is that he left a big impact on the game in terms of um, how football is played today because if it wasn't for Johan Cruyff, Barcelona would not be where they are at today. Like, no joke. Barca would just not be where they are at today without Johan Cruyff because Johan Cruyff is the man that that engineered that winning tradition at Barcelona. Like, seriously, you guys just... I just can't describe it in words, like, the big impact that Johan Cruyff left on the game. But yeah, man, uh, the, uh, the, the 1974 Netherlands and 1954 Hungary, arguably the best teams to never win the World Cup. I'll probably talk about the 1954 Hungary team in another video, but, <clears throat> seriously, man, just, wow, that squad was freaking insane. And, uh, <clears throat> I heard that, uh, that the Netherlands team basically, like, they, uh, 
you know, they got a bit, uh, I heard, I've been reading stories how that team got too arrogant and that Germany just uh, were focused more or something like that. I'm not sure what it's about, but wow, <clears throat> that team was good enough to beat Germany, that's all I can say, but it's just that Germany, Germany just, like I said before, they had West Germany, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Germany, Germany at that time was divided between East and West Germany, but West Germany had the home field advantage and they had the uh, the back four to stop that Netherlands attack, you know, that's basically what it comes down to at the end of the day. I mean, Berti, Vogitz, Franz Beckenbauer, Schwarzenbecken, Paul Breitner, and Sepp Meyer, they all just played fantastic and, yeah, I think that's what it comes down to. I think they just got outperformed by West Germany. So, yeah, guys, um, what else is there to say? There's nothing much else to say about that and uh, it's just that. It's a shame to see that that team didn't win the world, that the Netherlands wouldn't win the World Cup. But at the end of the day, they still left a big impact on the game. They still did. And, uh, yeah, I mean, 1970s, like, Ajax, they were phenomenal. They were a phenomenal team. No joke. But anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you thought about this 1974 Netherlands World Cup, World Cup squad for all my old school football fans out there. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.